Hi, I'm Deepak Basu. I'm the CEO of a nonprofit in India called Anudeep Foundation. And Anudeep is dedicated to uh, developing skills in uh, rural populations of India in uh, the area of vocational uh, development. And we help them develop the skills, learn English and a few job skills. And then we provide them with opportunities to get jobs or start business startups. Uh, then we are talking about sort of the generic uh, vocational training for a little focus on developing countries and poor populations, which is good. Um, but I think the, a more focus should be laid as this whole uh, initiative uh, progresses on high need communities within uh, developing countries, the victims of trafficking, migratory youth, people who can't go to school or they don't have access to the internet because they are moving because of um, survival to different parts of the country. Um, insurgents who would rather not be insurgents, would rather like to go and do a job with computers. So we in India focus on these you know, people with disabilities. We focus on people like these, of whom there are large numbers, and uh, that we feel is the most use of the work that we do and bringing them into the mainline uh, economy. I consider myself a field person. I'm out there trying to do a somewhat difficult job, often in hostile situations. And we make the most of the resources we have and do the best we can. Coming to an event like this is extremely useful because, you know, of course, there are the best practices and collaborative thinking and people's experiences that we understand. But there's also a process-driven, structured way of addressing the kind of work we do which kind of puts things in, in, in perspective and we can then take this big problem we're trying to solve and be able to break it up into smaller pieces and apply the best uh, of different um, other people's experiences into those components and go back with, hey, you know, this is another way we can do uh, solve this problem we are struggling with kind of thing. Yeah, so what has been the most beneficial um, session over here at the conference. Um, I've been to two or three. The one I was in actually as a speaker, uh, as one of the many speakers, was very eye-opening for me. Again, because it was information technology and um, economic empowerment of youth. Um, given young people naturally gravitate towards computers and mobile applications and phone, phone applications, is almost a tailor-made way of getting them engaged in, a, in, in, in IT and IT being of great demand, especially in India, which is the largest uh, IT destination in the world, um, makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of IT jobs and there's a lot of IT people wanting to learn IT but who can't get jobs. So if we can make the connection, make the match, uh, that's what we do. But I think we are extending that now to getting into coding and um, getting deeper into information technology rather than just being able to use Word or Excel or PowerPoint. So I listened to several of the speakers who, like Code.org, who've done a lot of work in this field and are going back with ideas of how to incorporate uh, Code.org into our programs. Um, the other one I went to was a USAID program on um, sustainability and scalability two things which are actually kind of mutually exclusive, but if you want to be a, a successful nonprofit, you need to scale and you have to be sustainable, which means that you can't continuously grow based on grant funding. You have to have some earned income and be able to meet your expenses yourselves. So we struggle with that a lot because we've grown from a really small outfit to be a training 20,000 uh, 20, students every year and we can't simply grow our funding you know, linearly with our, with our growth. So we're using a lot of technology now and uh, to do some of that, make our trainers more productive, increase class size, increase our ability to earn more student fees. Um, but it's good to know that we are not alone trying to solve this problem and uh, we've got a lot of ideas from the USID presentation. Yeah, the area of focus for us is actually called ITES, IT Enabled Services. 
which is not your programming side because our rural youth whom we train, uh, there is a maturity level and um, they need probably graduate degrees to be able to be programmed. So these are uh, kids who've gone through high school and that's about as far as they'll go because of economic and other deprivations. So how do you bring them into the IT field is through IT-enabled services, which mean could be the back office of a library, it could be the front office of a hotel, it could be registering people's cell phones uh, for a service provider, it could be uh, hospitality, it could be any number of things that need computers. So that's where we focus on and exactly what skills we teach beyond the basic IT, basic English as it applies to the job and job readiness skills like how to dress, what's a customer, what's a team, what is a deadline, these are common across the board. Then we work with our employers and if it's, a, it's the equivalent of say Starbucks, is coffee, cafe coffee day in India, how to manage a cafe or if you're into hardware maintenance and you want to start a hardware maintenance little shop, we teach them how to do that or it could be um, a call center, so how do you put on headphones and take questions from customers and look up a database and give them answers to what could be wrong with their product. So those are the things we do, and there's a very large demand for that, growing demand because the middle class in India is expanding very rapidly and more and more people are needing these sort of online services or hospitality services or uh, things like that.